morning today. Oh, I've just been working so hard. Oh, let's bow our heads and we can pray. And then we'll chit and we'll chat. Oh my God, I just want to say thank you for helping me today. Forgive, give us, forgive us all for the sins we've committed against you by any word, deed, or thought. Bless those who have not. Bless us according to your purpose and have your way in our lives. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. And thank you so much for divine favor, mercy, and grace, my God. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. All right, all right, my hoodsters. How y'all doing today? Okay. Y'all ready? Y'all, y'all, you ready to toast? Come on in. Take a seat. Bring your Kool-Aid, your water, your cocktail. Bring your snacks and your food. And come on in here with this one hood girl too. And we're gonna sit and chat. And we're gonna snack and eat. So this is for you, all my new subscribers. Salut. Salut. Sip, sip, sip this good. Who's the... Mm -hmm. That is good. Okay, all my new subscribers, all my old subscribers know what's in my glass. This is New Amsterdam. Um, oh, I got a blank mind. I'm so sorry. New Amsterdam grapefruit flavored vodka with some grapefruit juice and a squeeze of lime and just a couple of pieces of ice just to keep it cool. So, salute. When I tried it, I didn't know if I was going to like it. And then it just grew on me. So every time I go to Total Wine, I get two bottles. Mm -hmm. So, y'all, we have uh, some andouille sausage tonight. And I was craving my spicy noodles, y'all, because I, when was the last time I had my noodles? I don't even remember. Do y'all remember? Yeah, well, here it is. We better sink into this, baby. Yeah. I think I have my sausage and noodles. I'm going to change places because these noodles are hot. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that, y'all. You want some? Yeah. Take a bite. And then there's some, there's some good andouille sausage, y'all. Take a bite. Yum, yum. Give me some. I know y'all probably looking at my all my head scarves and stuff, and I'm cutting my head off. But I don't know what to do with my hair, so I twist my hair. So just to give it some time off with the um with the uh crochet braids. But you could I could tell you one thing. This weekend, I'm gonna get in that mirror and do something to this head. I think I'm gonna crochet some braids in it, I think. Because I already pulled them out of my hair box. <laughs> Do y'all have a hair box? <laughs> My son told me that I can open up a, a store with all that hair I have. My box is really long and wide and deep. Full to the top. Well, I went, I did some house chopping like two weeks ago when I was in the hood. And um, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't hardly close my box. It ain't like I need it anymore. So I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a clean it out. I'm a, For older wigs, like Maybe eight months, uh, I'll give them away or just throw them away. Mm -hmm. mm. I missed y'all noodles. Yes, I did. Oh, I missed y'all. Okay, y'all. What's the plan for y'all this weekend? I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm in the air. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm thinking about the cigar lounge, though, because it's been three weeks since I, I went there. So I think I'm going to surprise them all tomorrow. Well, I do have to text the DJ to see if he's going to be there, but I don't think he know who I am. Mm -hmm. I can just call and ask him if the DJ going to be there. That's what I'm going to do. And if he's there, I'm just going to surprise him. But, uh, you know, if it wasn't so dark and I would love, love to do a a, a video there so y'all can see what we do and how we play and how we laugh. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm, 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 hot. Mm. Mm. Oh, that was hot. Whew. 
Ja, mijn hustus. Are y'all tired of me? Talking about relationship? Too bad, because we're going to talk about it again tonight. I was just reading some stuff today. So I, I googled. Y'all know I'm a googler. Y'all know I don't like that skin all the time. These sausages are so good. And I, I, I googled relationships today. <laughs> so much came up on that darn computer, y'all. Even the computer say it's different today. What? Well, we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about dating online. Because, you know, there's a lot of dating sites. And like eHarmony, you have to do this two-hour freaking test. I tried them. I did not like eHarmony at all. You cannot swipe to the left or to the right. They send you who you're compatible. And when I did my profile, it took about two hours, y'all, answering all those darn questions. But every man that they felt that fit me, they were already taken. They forgot to take them off the the uh, the site, y'all. Oh, you going with me? Mm. It's not cheap either. So I felt like y'all just winning. Y'all got my money. Y'all giving me all these men that's already in a relationship already. Y'all already matched them for somebody else. Then I tried. Well, y'all know I already did match. Um, dot com. Oh, and I'm gonna tell y'all all the ones I did, and then I'm gonna tell y'all who I like the best. But I'm not on any uh, today. I gave myself a rest because I was getting too many that I was swiping on that side. Ooh, 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 oh no, hell no. Mm -mm. Take a good picture. That you know, men don't update them pictures, y'all. Y'all can tell them pictures are like 30 years old. No, oh, really. What the hell you look like today? So anyway, I tried Match.com. I tried BPM. I tried Interracial Dating as well. I tried mm, All Time. You know, if you're 50 old, I think it's 55 old. Mm -mm, don't do that. I tried um, All Time. Oh, it was another one. It was a free site. P P O L. <laughs> I tried P O F many years ago when it was it, it, it wasn't as bad as it is today. So for all those, the one that gave me the best matches was Match.com. But in 2010, I think, when I moved back to Houston after I sold my house in the country. I discovered POF and it has changed though. And I met this guy. Well, I met a couple of guys actually, but one, you know, I, you know, we kind of liked each other. And, um, that was when I met the, after I met that, um, uh, Jamaican man, uh, he wasn't good in bed. And then I had to let him go. And he's the one that called the uh, private investigator on me. <laughs> so a little few months, a year, I think a year after him. Because I didn't, I didn't want to date no more. So I met this guy, Alpha of POF. And we're going to call him. We're going to call him Tommy. I don't want to say his name because I don't know if he's looking at my videos. So, Tommy and I met in 2009. And he had taken me out to lunch a few times. Came to my job a few times. You know? And 
You know, I wasn't sexually act sexually active at that time, even after seven years of being a uh, celibate. So, when I realized after all those years uh, of my marriage and then all the years that I was celibate, I didn't realize um, that relationships had changed that much, but it did. So, long story short. We, me, me and Tommy used to hang together, you know, he'd come over and, you know, you know, he, you know, I'd invite him to a Sunday dinner or something, you know. So one day I had this idea, and this is in 2010, y'all. I said, you know, we are kind of, you know, like, we, we, we kind of like each other. He was eight years younger than I, though. And that's okay with me because I go, I do 10. 10, 10 is my max. But he was in school for dentistry, and I wasn't sure I wanted to be committed. And this is going to be some grown folk stuff, okay? All my grown people. So I invited him to um, dinner because I had an agenda, y'all. Mm -hmm. So one thing in our courtship, we never had sex ever but his kisses were good so that's what i was holding on to right so me i initiated a sexual relationship right and this was my spiel y'all i don't know if it worked today but this is my spiel back then i invited him over for dinner we had a cocktail drink and, you know, again, the only thing I knew about him was his kisses. So I said, me and you are grown-ups. What if, how do you think about or how do you feel about a um, relationship just for sex, but we can't date anybody else? And if we should meet somebody, we have to come back. And talk about it before we sleep with them, right? So I said, pink is well. I said, he pink is well with me, y'all. You know, like I said, fifteen thousand videos ago. Sometimes when that kiss, when that kiss is good, a lot of times the good sex follow the good kiss, and it was that was true. My God, we had some good, 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 good stuff. Mm hmm. We had it good. So time was going. He was coming. I wanted him to come. And and I also told him if our feelings should change, you know, if we have those love zone feelings, we got to also come back together and, and, and express ourselves, right? But for me, once I make my mind up and I don't want no relationship, it ain't gonna be no relationship. I don't give a shit how good your 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 tatty whacker is. If I don't want no relationship, I ain't going to be in no relationship. Shit, but sex, sex is sex. Shit, if it's good, it's good. Uh, I noticed things started to change, right? Mm-hmm. And he never could stay out all night. Because I told him the rules of just sex. You come when the mood hits, you don't get to spend a night, and you don't get to drop over when you want to. You got to follow the rules. Hmm. Well, somewhere he fell. Because I noticed things started to change, right? For the first time, she said he didn't have an early class that next day, and he just wanted to know if he can come and uh, spend a night this particular night. And I said, uh, why? He said, baby, please, I just want to be with you. I need you tonight. And I'm thinking like, mm-hmm. So I let him spend the night. But what I noticed in the middle of the night, I wanted to get up to go use the potty or I was moving around or something. And he at that time had his arm around my waist. And I moved, so I hear this voice, stinky breath, and I'll say, don't move. No, he said, don't leave. And I'm thinking like, oh, oh yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
and mother chuckled and fell in love. He didn't got his he didn't he didn't got his feelings involved. I didn't say nothing. So I kind of took a step back. He didn't understand. He didn't understand why I took a step back. So one Friday he wants to come over. I say, no, I'm hanging out with some of the co-workers. We're going to uh, go listen to this live band. And never once before, in the, it, I think it was like already seven months we had been doing the do. And for the first time, I tell him that I'm hanging out with some co-workers to go hear a live band at Baker Street. The first thing came out of his mouth with, so you're going to meet a, a man. That ain't what I said, sir. I said I was going with coworkers. Mm-hmm. Your feelings in the way. You better move out of the way because I'm gonna leave, I'm 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 gonna shut the door on your ass. I already told you it's just sex. Mm -hmm. Oh. He got pissed. So I ain't hear from him for about a whole good week, right? And so one Saturday, he called me. And he said, what you doing? I said, I'm cleaning house. So he said, can I talk to you? And I said, absolutely. We're grown-ups. We can talk about anything you want to talk about. So he went and he said, he said, that's a few things that I don't like about you. I'm like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Do tell. Mm-hmm. I'm going to leave that there. I'm running out of time, y'all. I'm going to finish this story tomorrow. And I just want y'all to laugh because this shit is going to be funny. And so, you know, I still hear from him from time to time as well. Today. <laughs> and that was in 2010. <laughs> Come on. All right. Thank y'all for joining me. For all my new hustlers that came tonight. Before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that notification bell right on the side. You see it? It's great. Gradient. Did you do it? Mm-hmm. Don't forget to comment, share, and like. 